You guys, you won't believe what I just found. Ugh, I'm so disappointed. Um, I guess it's not as tragic as it could have been. Do you see that? It looks like there's holes in it, but it's not. The top layer of skin of the leaf is still there. So there's just transparent spots in the plant. That means I have four lined plant bugs. What is a four lined plant bug? It is a bug that kind of looks like, like a squash bug, but it's not. It's black and it has four yellow lines. Hello, four lined plant bug. Four yellow lines on its back. It's kind of shaped like a lightning bug and it has a brown head. Um, and basically it gets on the underside of the plant and it sticks this needle that it eats through into the leaf of the plant and it ingests all the chlorophyll. I always want to say chloroform, but that's totally something different. It sucks the chlorophyll, the green parts, out of the plant. And so that's why you're left with those see-through spots. And it's sometimes confused with like leaf spot diseases, like funguses and like rust and blight and stuff like that, but it's not. Um, it's some little bastard bug. It probably laid eggs in here somewhere that I'm not gonna find. The good news is it just wants to eat some of my leaves. So the damage is so inconsequential from one little bug that it might not be worth it unless it did have babies and then it's gonna eat my whole plant. And of course it's my prettiest pepper plant. So things you can do if you find this weird thing on here. Um, you can use neem oil. It's an organic oil. They just don't like the smell of it. It doesn't kill anything. It just keeps them away. And you can use uh, horticultural soap or insecticide soap, and that does a little bit more damage to the bug. So I'm probably just gonna get my spray bottle of neem oil and spray down the plant and then spray down his neighbor because he's also really pretty and doing really well. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Um, I saw a little bugger too and I flicked him into the dog pen. I didn't kill him, I just flicked him. But hopefully he learned a valuable lesson. You know, turf war with the bugs. Um, so that's that, watch out for those guys. Um, they're not as bad as Japanese beetles but they are annoying. They'll have little babies. They're ba that's not one. That's, I don't know what this is. I don't know what, the, what that guy is, but you too. Get, 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 get. Um, they're little nymphs. They're little babies that are going to hatch on this plant if they had babies in my plant. <sighs> my pregnant plant. Um, their little nymphs are red, like a brownish red, and they're teeny tiny itty bitty little things. So you have to keep an eye for those. Um, don't spray your plants down with anything that you don't want in your own mouth. So that's just my helpful hint for dealing with bugs. If you don't want to just take a big old swig of it, then you shouldn't be spraying it on your plants. I hope that helps you guys. I hope it doesn't help you. I hope you never have to deal with a four lined plant bug or a Japanese beetle or whatever. Uh, but if you do, now you know what to find. What to, if, you, if you find little see-through holes that aren't actually holes, you know what did it. All right, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.